Hey guys, uh, Chats here, We're back with another uh, race video. This one is a circuit race that we did. So just quick breakdown of this race. We did one lap neutral and then we went on full on race. Our average speed for this was 26.9, uh, power was 276, max was 1278. Normalized power for the race was 334, power on the breakaway, I averaged around 300 and the heart rate was 174 average. Overall, this is a totally different course, super fun. Um, we have a little bit of a hill in it, a little bit of a kicker, super cool. Really uh, fits my riding style. And I don't know if we've ever done this course this fast before. As you can see where the wind is, we're coming down the finishing straight. Uh, the little black line up there on the top right is gonna be the finish line, the wind. So right now we have pretty much a tailwind right here. Anyways, the teams represented was gonna be us, Ride Bikes, Velo Kings, Team Swift, and then there's a couple other uh, solo riders from other teams and just unattached riders as well. And uh, again, we had a lot of people come down from Modesto and Bakersfield, like the whole Central Valley is kind of showing up for this solid field. Anyways, the, the, whole, the whole thing for today was, you know, again, we just wanted to race really aggressive as a team. And we wanted to get in as many moves as we could. We wanted to start as many moves as we could. That was just kind of overall the, really the the whole idea of what we wanted to do. So we weren't we weren't uh, we weren't being shy. So I got Tyler with me. I got Nick with me. And that is actually that's everyone from our team today. So just the three of us uh, with a pretty good sized field. Uh, Velo Kings had plenty of riders, maybe 12 guys, maybe 15 guys. I don't know how many guys they had. Uh, Team Swift had about six, six, six kids out there. So anyways, right from the gun, uh, Team Swift comes out of that corner. That's a cool little hairpin turn, slow up for the stop sign. They come out and we're coming into our hill and they decide to drill it from the gun. Mad kudos to Team Swift for doing that. You know, honestly, if I was at the front, that's something I would have wanted to do, but I was not. And they were though. So again, kudos to them. First lap, we're gonna make it fast. We're gonna make it hard up this climb. I mean, look, we're going uphill right now and doing 500 plus watts. Uh, we're still holding 25, 24 miles an hour. This is kind of known as like the Friant Hill or whatever. Anyways, it's a fun little kicker. And it's hard because right now we're starting to get right towards the top and then it, it eases up, but it's still a gradual uphill climb. So the pressure is constantly on. I mean, the whole time I've been doing 400 plus watts, I really haven't dropped below except for finally right now where it starts to kind of flatten out. But as you see, honestly, we take the speed up relatively quickly. And again, major kudos to the Swift kids. They, Team Swift, it's an all junior team. They lit it up the first time up that climb. And I thought that was that was really good of them. That was very smart. Uh, it was it was really good too, because you know, there's a lot of, this is kind of an open field. We have everyone, there's a couple cat ones out here. There's like me, Nick, uh, Mark Tucker. I uh, oh, Sean Bagley's out here too. I think that might have been all the cat ones we had. Um, there's a few twos like Tyler and Richard uh, and some others. And then there's a lot of fours and threes and some guys I've never raced before either. So anyways, the Swift kids, as you can see up there on the front, they actually, uh, I think it was Travis from Team Swift, got a little bit of a gap. Nick, our sprinter, actually went with that. And I think, I don't know who else is up there in that little miniature break, but they're just barely hovering off the front. Uh, there is, I think Velo Kings might have missed it because I think there's a Velo Kings rider on the front doing work to pull us back. There goes Mark. Uh, there goes Tyler following Mark Tucker's wheel from Velo Kings. And uh, I don't know who this is in front of me, but anyways, uh, so that's the opportunity. When we catch them, I have to counter no matter how fast the pace is, I'm going to have to snap. So I snap extremely hard into this and uh, for a long time as well to try and get away. So we kind of have that major, we got a kind of a crosswind now, a uh, cross headwind. So just just snap into that. It's it's fairly flat, a little uphill. Um, I was super happy with this attack, to be honest. 
and and it was kind of cool i mean people were still there i mean i'm putting in a huge dig I, i've got a couple people on my wheel right now and i am putting in a massive dig right now and you know it just doesn't it doesn't work out so here's uh velo kings is with me steven he's only 22 he's super strong uh this is will he's a local guy he doesn't race at all either so to find him up here in the front in this move this early major kudos um but as you can see when i jump in and take my turn to draft it's super easy but by this point i had looked back and the field had caught on to us so we're just keeping it highly strung out and uh in, in all reality i mean it was a, it was a good attack it's still early so people have plenty of matches to burn and that was that was the main issue just you know everyone's fresh just couldn't make it happen but that's okay so then we all kind of reset now we're going into our downhill uh we switched gears we're now at the bottom of that little downhill and then uh coming up again team swift was uh being pretty uh pretty aggressive during this race but uh nick right here goes straight up just goes and everyone was kind of like uh and they kind of honestly they just let him go and i'm like huh i guess we're gonna i mean nick has been in the breakaway for the last two weeks in a row and he's won the races from the breakaway the last two weeks in a row so when he goes i was kind of surprised that no one went with him they were all cool with letting him go so anyways nick nick gets out there and he's now gonna have to do something that he usually doesn't do time trial uh now he's gonna be out there by himself and he's got a good little daylight i mean you can see him up there he's probably 10 seconds off the front anyways he ends up getting a flat tire uh about almost halfway done with that lap he ends up getting a flat tire and uh, he hit some glass on the front. There's a lot of glass on this course. He caught some glass on the front tire and he's he's on off the front riding on like 20 PSI, just trying to make it around so he can get his tube to get a tube put in his tire. But he's still off the front right now. You barely see him way up there. And again, like I said, Team Swift is very aggressive right here. Team Swift, I believe this is Travis. He's shot of Modesto. He goes and I was like, yep, I'm here. Let's do this. Let's bridge across Nick. At this point, I didn't know Nick had a flat tire. Uh, but right here, I'm like, dude, yes, go. Let's bridge across to Nick. Maybe we can get a little gap on the field. And if that works out, I mean, it's me, Swift, and, and Nick, and now in a breakaway, and I think we could roll it, right? So Team Swift goes hard right here. Good, timed, aggressive attack. I mean, it's a little close to the downhill because uh, going that downhill is tough, especially these juniors. They got junior gearing, right? So it's going to be really tough for them to hold speed. Um, this is when uh, Nick told me after the race when we caught him right here. He was like, "Dude, I took that corner on my rim. <laughs> like, he had he was that much out of uh, air in his front tire." So we caught him, and he immediately just kind of hangs on and tries to to get to the finish. And he, he ends up calling his race because he's got to change his tire. Anyways, Mark Tucker does like a little bit of a fly right here, and then realizes that like you know attacking on the downhill, it's it's really hard to attack on the downhill. So he does like a little bit of flyer at the start of it and then he just kind of goes into coast mode and you know i'm, I'm putting down some watts to, to catch back up to him i finally switched to a 53 big ring on the front of my bike it makes a huge difference for this hill i had a 52 earlier but now i'm actually rocking big boy gears and uh anyways we catch on to mark mark tucker's been riding really strong out of velo kings super strong rider and uh, I also feel like his race IQ has gotten way better too. He's, he's doing, he's been making a lot of good moves lately. But Travis from Team Swift, he's aggressive today and he's going for it. Uh, it's an interesting spot to attack. I mean, we're still coming off the downhill. There's a lot of momentum. So you have to put in a really hard jump to get any gap on the field. As you can see, all of our shadows are represented, right? So everyone stay on his wheel easily. Plus, I'm pretty sure he's rocking junior gears. So to go at, you know, 34, 35 miles an hour on a downhill is going to be really hard for him. But kudos, major kudos for giving it a shot. Didn't work out. We all stuck with him. And now we're all just kind of looking around at each other, getting ready to do another reset. No one is off the front yet. You know, we're like, okay, what's going to happen? What do we do? Everyone starts to ease up now. I mean, we're doing five laps of this loop, and I think we have, we're coming up on finishing two of them. So we'll be coming around with three to go. And then we fast forward uh, again, and this, uh, 
this right here, we're coming into to three laps to go, so we just kind of fast forward up the road a little bit. But uh, I, right here, you know, I do a little mini dummy attack to kind of test the field, just a little, you know, a little three second effort, just out of the saddle, see what they do. And someone took the bait, Travis from Team Swift took the bait, and he was like, yes, let's go, and he goes. Tyler is immediately on his wheel. I'm there as well, and we don't really get a gap at all right here. Everyone kind of stays on my wheel. We're all pretty much together. I mean, there's nothing. It, it was tough. It was hard to get away. I mean, kudos though to Travis. He attacked three times within five minutes. Um, Might have burned some of his matches. I don't know. But hey, he's giving it. He's giving it a shot, and he's trying to get away. Like the motivation's high there, and the stoke level is high, and he's trying. And and right here. You know, Mark's like, yep, yep, no. <laughs> you know, they're kind of laughing at each other. But again, he's racing really aggressive, and I like that. I think it's really cool to always race forward and not just sit in and get comfortable. Anyways, me and Tyler. Tyler uh, weighs me up right here, and we have a couple words really quick. So Tyler tells me, hey, next time we come up this climb, I'm gonna attack, I want you to counterattack. Uh, McKay was the team, the team Swift rider right here on my right. He came by and I was like, hey, you need to jump on his wheel. Uh, he hesitated just a little bit so the gap closed and he getting on his wheel. So then I was able to actually get out of the pack and move out. And then George from Velo Kings right here, he ended up doing just a little kind of a, a little bit of like a mini surge off the front. So I jumped on his wheel and now we're coming into this hairpin, but I'm a little nervous because I'm like, Tyler wants to go full gas on this climb. How is this gonna work out? Because now I'm in front of him. Uh, I'd, I'd rather follow an attack rather than be attacked around. It's a little bit harder to go with it. Um, and then on top of that, I mean, he's pretty far back now. So how is this gonna work out? Now he said he was gonna go on the climb. So I was waiting. I was thinking he was gonna go up here where the bushes on the right start. Uh, <clears throat> but that is not the case. And right here goes Tyler. He goes before the climb. And he, he goes pretty darn hard. So, but everyone, again, it wasn't enough to get a separation. Everyone stays on his wheel, but he's full gas now going up this climb. Uh, I'm starting to move up a little bit because I'm hoping as we get to the top, people are tired and the pace will slow up a little bit so I can counter this move. Again, he is going full send, uh, doing his best to, to really just, just get away. Uh, but, you know, I, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Everyone's motivated. Everyone is locked on his wheel. Uh, I'm now doing, you know, three, 360, 370. Like, it's not major watts for me. We're now getting ready to come to the top of that climb. And it's going to slow up a little bit, but not enough for me to counter yet because I'm still well in the 300 range. And then when Tyler pulls off, the pace actually kind of picks back up a little bit. So then it's like, well, I can't counter right now because the pace is too high that makes sense plus I'm kind of on the wrong side the wind is gonna be coming from my right to left it's kind of a cross headwind so I'd rather be on the left side when it's time for me to attack but again I'm doing I mean I'm doing threshold here kind of surging a little bit like the pace is high and it was hard to counter attack immediately so I had to be patient and I had to wait for for this pace to kind of drop down a little bit before I counter Anyways though, Tyler, I mean, that was a good, that was a good job by Tyler. Like, that's very smart. So one of us uh, should have attacked into that hill. I was honestly gonna do it until he waved me up and he told me, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm cool. That's cool with that. You wanna go for that? I'll, I'll do the, the counter to your attack. Let's, let's give that a shot. So again, Mark Tucker's on the front right now. <clears throat> he's, uh, he's drilling it pretty good. He does, he does some really solid pulls. Like his, he can ride, you know, hard tempo at a low threshold, pretty long time when he does his pulls. So he's on the front, just drilling right now. And at this point I'm like, okay, pace is still high. When Mark pulls off, I will counter because one, that's gonna cause him, I'm not gonna take him with me. And two, uh, it's gonna be a good time to counter. So again, I, that's what I do. Mark pulls off, I go right now. Put in a really good snap to really try and get uh, that gap to open up because Quite honestly, it's it's super hard because it's just so fast up here and Steven comes I'm doing 600 watts still and then Steven from Velo Kings comes around me to take a pull and I was like dude 
bravo. Uh, yeah, I'll take your, your draft. Yes, please. So I jump on Steven's wheel. And honestly, S Steven is so strong. He's only 22 years old. He's been riding for, I don't know, like four or five months, they said. And he, he's, he's really strong. He's learning a lot very quick, quickly. I mean, he's going to be a fun guy to watch develop his skills uh, in the next couple months. But right here, you know, he flicks for me to come through, and I felt bad because the pack was was honest. And then we fast forward to the corner to hit the downhill. And again, just another breakaway. We tried it. Didn't work out. Now, I want to point out some stuff that was uh, really smart right here. I don't know if Richard from Velo Kings knew this, but right here, this is Richard from Velo Kings. I'm assuming he might have saw that like no ride bikes guys made were up here in the group. So he lets a little gap open up on the downhill, which now forces me to look, dump all of these watts to come on to the back of this group and to catch on. Like, I don't know if he meant to do that. I hope he did, because that was honestly a very smart move by Richard. If it wasn't, dude, uh, remember what you did and do that again in the future. That was perfect. So it made me kind of burn just a little bit of a match to surge on. And again, right here, boom. Swift goes. Again, junior gearing on the downhill is gonna be really hard to get away, but kudos for trying, they go. And uh, luckily, you know, I'm putting out some pretty good watts to, to catch back up. I know we had a car coming, it was tough, we're trying to navigate this. <clears throat> but anyways, so we come on and as you can see in our shadows, everyone is attached still. So one thing was like, we kept it fast, we had lots of attacks and everyone stayed on it was it was pretty interesting like everyone was super motivated to to not let anything go and then uh right here we have this solo flyer i don't i don't know who this is uh i'll have to check strava his name might be dylan i think is what i saw on strava i can't remember anyways he's he's a solo rider uh he just all by himself i'm assuming he's probably a junior too but he goes and everyone's like, yeah, cool, uh, let's let him go. And with that, I have a conversation with Mark. Can I have a match? Guys, we're ready, guys. Y'all gonna take round. Go with Chad. Up, 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 go, go! So. I looked at March and I was like, dude, I want to go right now because everyone's tired. Travis is tired from attacking, so he's not going to cover this. Like, I, I want to go. Mark didn't have any fuel left, but he's like, hey, Steven does. And so I went super hard. And uh, Steven, luckily Steven went and he barely stayed on my wheel right here. I mean, like, we were going hard with a crosswind and I, I knew it was going to be tough. So I wanted, I wanted someone to go with me. I didn't want to go solo. So I was totally cool with starting the move and then taking a pretty solid pull too afterwards to try to open it up. So as you can see, we got uh, three shadows there. So three of us are away. It's uh, gonna be me. Uh, it's gonna be me, Velo Kings right here. Uh, Steven from Velo Kings. And then that solo rider, I think his name is Dylan. I can't, I can't remember what Strava said. He's actually caught, he caught on with us and stayed with us. Like, Super sick, so it's a three of us. And we're coming into two, we just fin came around for two laps to go. So each lap is about eight and a half minutes or just under eight and a half. So we got two laps to go. And there's three of us now. We have a little bit of a gap. The field is tired, so they, they kind of sat up and let us go. I mean, Velo Kings is cool with their boy Steven being off the front because they know he's strong. Uh, and then anyways, learning the corner is huge. Uh, he came up, the, the solo rider came up pretty Checked up on the brakes, pretty good going to that corner. So I carried my speed outside wide and around him. And right here you can see the group on the right. So they, we have a pretty good little gap. We got like a 15 second gap, 15, 20 second gap. And then right here, I take over and me and Steven, basically what we are gonna do is we are gonna work together. So we hit this hill pretty darn hard. I mean, I knew that the possibility of someone attacking out of the group on this hill to try to bridge was going to be good. So I took this hill hard as if we were attacking up it. So of course, you know, I'm doing 400, 500, 400 watts the whole way up. And uh, actually at one point Steven was like, dude, I need just a little bit of a breather too as we get over the top. And I was like, dude, totally fine. I'm all good with, with taking up, you know, a pretty long pool here. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let Steven sit on my wheel up this hill. I mean, I, I don't blame him, this hill was hard. 
Uh, I was dying, okay? But we have to do something to keep that gap open and discourage anyone from latching on. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, you know, the group's gonna attack hard up that hill. We need to attack hard up that hill too to at least not lose any time. So that was my goal. So I go hard up that hill, uh, take a pretty long pull, give Steven a little bit of a breather. Now he comes to the front, he takes his pull, and we are we are working well together. Like there was no games between us. We both knew like, hey, we just gotta drill and just go. And uh, at this point too, I looked back and I saw that I think there was a Swift, a Team Swift rider trying to get to us. Um, I think it was on that lap. Anyways, we're coming into to one to go. And again, I know that, you know, we have we have a lot of daylight now. As you can see on the right, there is no, no one to be seen from the pack, like no one. Okay, there's, there's one guy right there and I think that is it like that that's it so when we came up to this hill I wanted to hit this hill really hard on the last lap I, I didn't know where Steven was I'm, I was kind of assuming he might have been hurting a little bit so I wanted to hit it hard and just kind of see how he was going to react to that so I think this is probably one of the harder this probably the hardest time we went up this hill uh, I think we almost actually like KO'd it but we went, we went pretty brisk and hard up this time. Again, it's the final lap, it's the final time up this hill. So for me, I'm thinking, you know, maybe I can just put a little pressure on him and just go harder, you know, make him hurt a little bit and maybe that will take some sprint out of his legs if we come down to a sprint, you know, or maybe I can just, maybe he'll pop a little bit or crack and I can, I can drop him and I can solo away. But dude, kudos, he hung in there. Uh, not only did he hang in there, but he came around and he took a pull. Like, super major kudos. Again, we didn't, that's the only time, like, we, I did, like, a semi-attack on him. We just, we pretty much just worked together. Like, we worked together, there was really no games, no tomfoolery. Uh, we just, we just worked together and worked hard to get the finish. Super bummed, though, my camera dies here in a second. Like, it dies on me. We're going into the downhill, it's gonna die, and then we're gonna be like, wait, what happened? Basically what happens is we stay together to the finish, and then we come out of that final straight, and here's a video from the finish line. We're sprinting, we came out of the corner of one-on-one, -on -one, and I ended up taking the sprint uh, from Steven. Honestly, he, he ended up leading out the whole, probably last K, K and a half. He just, he just kinda kept it steady on the front, and uh, the only thing I, I told him afterwards is like, hey, you know, maybe just just full on, like either attack me or maybe just sit up and stop pedaling and force me to pull through. Um, that's the only thing he could have probably done a little bit different uh, because other than that, he just sat on the front and, <clears throat> and not only that, he sat on the left side and we had to crosswind. So I was able to sit on the right side of him and get a nice draft. And it was just, it was just too nice. And then we turned out of that final corner right there for the sprint. You know, and he ramped it up kind of slowly as, as if it was a lead out and it really allowed me to, to utilize that as a lead out going into my sprint. And I actually dictated the sprint. I took off when I wanted to go and it, it worked out for me. But again, huge, huge ride by, uh, by Steven from Velo Kings. Like dude, for riding for four months, that was one heck of a breakaway. Uh, mad respect, mad kudos. Anyways, that's our race breakdown. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, as always, keep training hard and uh, riding hard, and there's going to be some more races coming up too, some more practice races. I'll see you guys on the next video.